Welcome back, divers, to Fox Attempts to Play Subnautica for 30 minutes instead of 30 hours. What's on the agenda for today? Well, I guess we're going to answer the phone since we got the phone call icon going. Uh, uh hello? Receiving pre-recorded distress call, laying back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. I'm feeling a little jealous. They were given an emergency sea glide and I wasn't. I don't have an emergency sea glide in here. Speaking of that, that's kind of one of the things we want to build is the sea glide because it helps us go faster, but we don't have the technology for it. We're missing some of the components. So here's the way it works. Here is the signal, the distress call they just added. I'm going to turn it yellow just to make it different colored from... Let's make this one orange, because orange is like the Fox location, the, the channel location. And what we're going to do... We do need to go check up on them. We do want to respond to distress calls, but... And there it is right there, about 300 meters away. A little bit of a swim. But first, what we want to do is... we got to take care of ourselves first. So I'm going to go look for some water... Which is this guy here. Come here. Gotcha. And... Here's another one. Oh, there's... Two of them. Wait. Oh, this is that tube of stuff. I... I don't always find this place when I start a new game. The tube... I dub it the tube of stuff. Which you will quickly see it's a tube of stuff! Yeah! I'm already getting distracted. I'm supposed to be prepping to rescue those guys, but here I am in the tube of stuff. I think it's the second time I found the tube of stuff. Since I've started the game multiple times, I think there are several different starting locations and oh, peepers. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gotcha. Look how long we can stay under the water, too, with the help of our more upgraded oxygen tank. Ah, oh, inventory full. So, <laughs> inventory. Okay, the, it's faster over here. Let's get out of here. You know, survival games and their inventory. So, I got a tip from a viewer, and he said that I should... Leave my hands free. Come here. Ah, I missed them. If I leave my hands free, I'll swim a little faster. Sure. I will do that, but now I can't shine lights in my... Come back! I'm gonna get this one. This one's mine. I, you're not getting away. Yeah! Oh, that's... I was getting them, but my inventory's full. God! Stupid! Okay, let's... Get some water. Actually, I need to save one for an item that we're gonna build. How many do I have in total? I only have one. I only have one extra, so we're gonna save that one. Let's drink the water. Let's cook the peeper. No! Darn it! That wasn't supposed to happen. I accidentally turned him into water instead of turn him into an item. Okay, anyways, our stats are cleaned up. Let me let me quickly see if there's one nearby. Oh, there's one right there. Grab them real quick and turn them into an item. Oh, look at this. Uh, I got a notification from Alfonso family. I guess, shout out to Alfonso family. I need to turn notifications off so they don't photobomb my... recordings. Okay, I need silicone rubber. Okay, I need to put some stuff in the inventory, because we gotta go get another glowing nut sack to get some rubber. I'm sure they're like, they're, these guys are gonna be ecstatic that I, I'm rushing so quickly to go help and respond to their distress call. Oh wait, I can scan this. I forgot, I didn't scan the creep vine. This is very important. I, I, I know that there is a, a thing that we gotta respond to, but come on, science. You know, I gotta, I gotta do this. 
Another thing we could do, I have the inventory for it. Yes. So it's giving me the hint here that I can cut this with my knife to harvest stalks of it. Uh -huh. Now, you could eat this if you really wanted to. They're not worth too much. I'm going to drop this egg. We'll get plenty of eggs. I don't even know what those eggs are good for. Let me cut another piece of it, though, because I need two of it to craft an item out of it. Wait, oh, okay, don't worry, don't worry. We're, we're going to respond to that distress call. I'm just going to mop this up, and then we'll go see, and we'll go help those guys out. Wait. That? Can I get some technology from this box? Nope. Wasn't anything in it. Either it was empty, or I already scanned it. Okay, first we're going to make the silicone rubber. Then we're going to make the mesh, the fiber mesh, which is what the creep vine was made, is made out of, or it's made out of the creep vine. And then finally we can make the item that we're going to build, the air bladder. That's another item off the checklist. You gotta build one of everything. I mean, you don't have to build one of everything, but... I'm gonna build one of everything. That's, that's my plan. So I think what I want to do now, because we're having inventory problems, I'm gonna build a waterproof locker, which is basically just a treasure chest that we can put underwater. Let's go ahead and equip it. Just toss it out. Very nice, let's give it a name. I'll... Oh, no, I said give it a name. There we go. I'm gonna name it... I don't know... Mufasa... Nah, I'm gonna name it Titanium. There you go. And now we'll put a bunch of Titanium in here. I mean, we can be a Deviant and put things that don't belong in there. In there. But, uh... Let me go get the rest of my Titanium out of here. And let's just start putting some of this stuff away. We've got so much stuff. We need to clear our inventory up. More titanium. I'm gonna put other metals in there as well. Okay. Okay, we're go we'll go respond, finally. But why is anyone coming to help? <laughs> well... Here we are. Well, to swim, I want to do it the old-fashioned way. Unfortunately, I don't have a faster mode of transportation yet. I need the sea glide. Although, let's keep an eye out for some technology. Grab one of these while we're here as well. Ah, missed them. Oh, speaking of which, hang on, guys. I gotta, I gotta scan these. I know you guys need help, but here's a beacon. One out of two, so that's a two-piece. Grav trap fragment. That's also a two-piece. So what that means is we just need to scan two pieces, two broken pieces of it, and then it'll unlock the blueprint for it. And I'm all about unlocking the blueprint. Is there anything else here that I missed? Ah, here's something. Uh, this will complete the beacon. Blueprint acquired. The beacon is useful since it allows us to make custom nav points so that we can find a place of interest. Now, I I'm sure if you're an expert at this game, you probably just have the locations memorized, but I'm not an expert in the game! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh god, he's after me! I need to scan one of these guys. Oh! Not the- not this. I need to scan him. Oh, he doesn't even see me. I'm like, this is how stealthy I- ah! I don't, Not as stealthy as I thought. Okay. Okay, he just turned around to look at me. I, he spooked me there a little bit. Oh, a trash can hidden technology. I'm getting distracted! We're supposed to help those people! Okay. Wait. That could be technology. No, you wouldn't do it! You wouldn't do it! Leave me alone! I've got it. I'll cut you. You wanna face me? I'll sh- Face me in combat. You coward! Ah! Uh. Uh. 
That's right. That's the last time you'll think of facing me in combat. Oh no, my controller piece came off. There we go. Took a screenshot on accident though. What's this? Ah, the vehicle bay frag. This is so if we can build that, we'll be able to get the vehicles thing that Warning. lets. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Well, here's Life Pod 3. Looks like the Hulk busted out of here. Judging by the direction of the... The way the metal is bending outwards, I'm guessing one of them was actually the Hulk secretly, and they just bashed their way out. Hey, how, how rude! They're, you could just get out right here. Gosh, like some people, they're just barbaric. So here's another piece of the Sea Glide. That should finish it. There we go. New blueprint acquired. Probably should check the inside. Let's get my flashlight out. Let's get, let me uh, get my oxygen real quick. So before we leave this area, we do want to scan the the area just because we, oh, no, no, we're going to try to find something. Hopefully we find survivors, but I, I'm getting the distinctive opinion that they've left. With the distinctive impression, rather. Oh, PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Here, I'll play it for us while I search. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the light line. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Blueprint acquired. So that data chip is even more technology. That's like that fresh technology, though. It comes in like a neat package and like a data chip. Okay, let's take a look around here. I'm not going to collect any salvages because that junks your inventory up really quickly. I do want the salt, though. I don't think I got a boomerang fish. Let me see. Can I scan a boomerang fish? Yeah, I need to scan the... Come back. Gotcha. Okay, I already scanned one of you. Let's take a look around. Let's look for... Okay, there's a... Let's go down a little further. I, I typically don't find the stalkers at the very bottom of the area. We just want to get a little... Oh, oh he's trying to prove me wrong. Oh, I hear him. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Come on, there's got to be more technology. I refuse to believe there's not more technology. It is your ah! It's a mind-controlling guy! Get away from me! Get out of my head! Okay. Okay, that, those guys always freak me out when they ambush me like that. I'm, I'm gonna try to scan them, though. It's like, you can't see it from your perspective, but from my- it takes control of my- my controls. And, and it's like, you feel it, like, you start- it starts, like, pulling you in. Where- there he is. We got to just face him up. Ah! Got him. Ah! There, you see, it's hard to tear my gaze away from it. It's not too bad when I see, when I know they're there, but when they catch me by surprise, it always jump scares me. Getting the distinctive impression that we're not going to find any more technology here. Oh my god, I spoke too soon. Look at this big chunk. What's this? The, oh, I need the laser cutter to get through. Where's my flashlight? Why is it getting so dark? 
I don't like that. I, I don't like it. I don't like it when it gets dark. I'm leaving. I don't want it to be dark. I'm going away. I'm sorry. I don't know if that's bad or not, but I don't like it. Not without the sea glide, so I can go faster. I don't feel I don't feel safe without faster mobility. I don't know if it means anything if it gets dark. It could just be I see his shadow. You know what, let's, let's just go home. I, I don't know, I just get the distinctive feeling that I'm wearing out my welcome here. I do want one of these guys, though. Come here. There we go. A little bit of water. Look at these caves! What's this? Oh, it's a thermal vent. I gotta be careful, it'll, like, burn the flesh from my bones. Okay, we're safely back home. Wait, where's my life? Okay. See, unlike them, I know how to actually go in and out of a life pod. Okay, so now we can build the beacon. We don't need it just yet, though. I do like to have a beacon on hand, though, in the event that I find something really interesting and I want to go back to it. Make some water. And we'll make some water out of that guy. These guys will spoil. So let's just go and make everything out of water. Okay. So let's let's get back to building stuff. What do we need? I need the sea glide. I need a battery. I need some lube and some copper wire. Can I build the copper wire now? Okay. Copper wire out of two copper. What else do I need? A battery and some lube. Do I have more copper for the battery? Yes. Okay. So, to get the battery, we need two mushrooms. There's no problem. And then to get the... Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. You can't see it, but I'm shaking my head. My, my, my favorite activity was... Swimming? Of course it was! I have a choice! Stupid computer! I could grab him and eat him. Let's avoid the... Did I scan this guy? Pretty sure I scanned this guy. Yeah, I scanned him already. Where's my... Okay, here it is. Okay, so let's make a battery. Let's make the lube. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. <laughs> lube is more useful than just that, let me tell you. Why? It's useful for the sea glide. What do you have a dirty mind? It's clearly for building the sea glide. God. The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. You don't have to boss of me. If I want to go really far recklessly, I'm going to go, I'm going to go as far as I want. Oh, the sea glide is super cool though. We got to equip it as an item though. The sea glide is, uh, well, let me see. What else can I build here before we go out? Uh, we haven't finished the tech for the vehicle bay or the gravity trap. The rebreather mask. Compass. Floating air pump. These will be more useful later on. Pathfinding tool. Okay, we don't have any messages. So, let's see. What do we want to build next? I want to build... Maybe the rebreather? Let me see, do I have enough silver for it? Oh, we got a lot of silver. We have plenty of silver. We have this. 
Okay, so all I need is, um... Oh, here, here we go, here we go, check this out. Yeah, you see this little thing? It's like a little torpedo, but minus the warhead, and it basically just pulls me around, and it helps me swim faster. And it comes with a light, and there's like this holographic map as well. Isn't this thing cool? I thought, I thought it was super cool. It, like, you go way faster with it as well. So having this around, it's just really useful. It allows me to go way, way faster. It does use up electricity, but it's worth it, let me tell you. Okay, so now we can make more fiber mesh. Now we can make a wiring kit out of two silver. And that means we can make a rebreather mask. Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. has been added to your blueprint database. Well, I'm just going to go off on a limb here and say that we're probably not getting off this planet on the Aurora. You may have noticed that Geiger counter going off. The detonation of the Aurora has irradiated the area. Whoa, whoa, can't be there. Whoa, whoa, calm down, game. So now there's radiation all over the place. In order to make... So we need to make the radiation suit, which is right here, which we could make it right now, actually, out of two lead and two fiber mesh. Very nice. So as long as we wear this full suit, we're immune to radiation. But the thing is that there's other things that we can wear that will break this combo that are useful for other things. Like, I can't wear the rebreather mask and the radiation helmet at the same time, for example. Oh, phone call. Hello? This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Interesting. So what we could do now is start organizing these. So I'm going to turn this one off because we've already visited it. We could turn it back on if I want to go back to that area. And let's turn this one to yellow. Direction there. They're over here. They're about 600 meters away, but we have the sea glide now, so it shouldn't be very hard for us to get to them. 600 meters, that's nothing for the sea glide. And I might hang on to these. I kind of want that rebreather mask, but... There's other things we can use the, the wiring kit for, such as the Habitat Builder. So, what we're going to do, let's go respond to them. Let's go see. Let's, let's, let's be responsible for a change. Put that away. I think this is full as well. Yeah, everything's full. Well, here we go. Get to use the Sea Glider for a more distant mission. We go so much faster than swimming normally. I don't need any of this on. Uh, this actually uses up a little bit of battery power, so... By doing it this way, we can save a little bit on energy. I'm not terribly worried about it. I feel like we'll be able to get a battery recharger before I'll need to worry about it. And even if the battery does die, I can build a second battery and replace it. And just hold on to the dead battery until we get a battery recharger. Now these dumb stalkers are too slow. They're not going to be able to catch me now that I got the... This thing here. So this thing here, I looked it up on Wikipedia. They're called Diving Propulsion Vehicles, DPVs. And they actually exist in real life, but not as compact as this. They're usually bigger. I need to equip my scanner. What's this? The vehicle bay frag. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Here it is. 
Okay, we need one more piece to finish the vehicle bay. But the thing is, we don't have any vehicle blueprints. So without vehicle blueprints, the vehicle bay isn't super useful. Let's go get some oxygen. So this red grass area is in the sandy zone. We gotta deal with these crazy sand sharks now. Oh, we can scan some of this wildlife, though. Well, wait, let's let's go check the life, Bob, before I get any more distracted. Oh, I really want that thing, though. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gotcha. What's that glowing over here? Oh, God, it's a sand shark. Leave me alone. You're too slow. Short range scans that thing's huge. Biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Oh, it's a reef back. Okay, thankfully I have discovered that these... I, I was really afraid to approach these guys, but these guys are actually not hostile. Look how huge they are, though. They're so big they've got... Oh, that's why they're called reef backs. They've got a reef on their back. Oh, a barnacle. These things tend to have good materials in them. Come on, let me break it. Kind of embedded inside of them. I can't get a good angle where it'll count as me hitting it. There we go. What did it give me? No! Got it. Yeah, these guys typically have precious metals. Oh, what's this? Regress shell. Gimme, give gimme. Give More copper. A red wart. Gotta go get some oxygen. Ah, oh, we're supposed to be scanning the- we, we need to check for survivors. What are we doing? Okay, down we go. Now, if we get really deep, like at about a thousand, a hundred meters, a hundred, not a thousand, a hundred meters, it becomes harder to breathe and we use up more oxygen. I, at first I thought that was just kind of a game mechanic thing, but that actually turns out to be true in real life. The deeper you go in water, the more oxygen you use. Meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Ah, the laser cutter. That's what we needed to get through that door. What's this? Us. Okay, that must be the thing that was attacking him. I've never seen this. This thing is gigantic. It's like the biggest thing of salt ever. Special equipment is required to collect this. Hmm. Maybe the laser drill? The laser cutter? I don't know how to get... I need to get around that stupid creature. Maybe I can scan him. Ah! I didn't think he'd notice me. Let me get some oxygen and we'll try again. We're not gonna let that stupid lobster guy prevent us from checking it for survivors. Oh man, there's some technology. Oh! Oh! That's a piece of the sea moth, too. I really want that. Maybe if I scan him, he'll, like, get pestered by it. Nope, he doesn't care. Let's just get inside here. Ah, PDA. Maybe we'll find out what happened. Ozzy's log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. 
mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. Man, those sand sharks are so territorial. We're not going to give up on that piece of the vehicle, though. I'll tell you, show you, you can tell it's the part of the vehicle, too. Oh, he's inside. But you can see that there's a command control console right here. That's the steering wheel or whatever you'd call it. There we go. Okay. I don't know what happened to this Life Pod 7D, but it, it's pretty ripped up. I have a feeling that we're not going to find any survivors, but... Let's keep looking. This one's got, like, pimples all over him. Specimen with symptoms of infection. That's a new, that's a new creature. Stay still! Trying to get him. I lost him. Got him. A biter? That doesn't sound good. This is the spade fish, I recognize it. Come here. Here's the Reginald. These guys are really nutritious. I want to make sure I scan one. I didn't know you get Reginalds here. I definitely want to, if I cook Reginald, I mean, I will cook them, but what I need to make sure I do is I need to make sure I cure them in salt so they don't spoil. Because they're, they're very nutritious. They're worth like a ton of um, food points. Okay, we're going to keep looking though. There's got to be some technology here. Oh, this must be the cave that he was talking about, that weird cave system. These are these weird stinging thingies. Drooping stingers. They're kind of creepy. I don't like them. I'm not going over there. Besides, we're supposed to be looking for technology. Like, is it? Let's use the sea glide to go faster. What's in here? 100 meters. Nothing. Efficiency decreased. Oh, this looks like a giant chunk of ship over here. Oh, there, there. I dare someone to tell me that there's not some technology around here. I dare someone to tell me. This looks important. Scanner room fragment. Yes, please. I do. I want that scanner room. Integrating new PDA data. Are you trying to come? Oh, he's a biter. Yeah, he's probably trying to come after me. Leave me alone, you stupid thing. Seconds. I'll show him what's what. All I gotta do is swim away in my crazy... Swim away mobile. I'll show them a thing or two. Okay, let's try this again. There's got to be more. I don't know if I, I don't think I could survive very well inside the ship itself. It's such a big piece. We might run the risk of getting trapped or getting lost inside of it. I, I'll need to bring a diving pump. Oh, more pieces of the scanner. Oh, th we should be able to finish the scanner room. Yeah, yeah, this will finish the scanner room. Nice. Blueprint acquired. Metal salvage. We're doing. Oh. Scanner. Okay, that'll give us some titanium. Might as well clean it up, though. By cleaning up all the scannables, it'll. 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 It'll help me remember that I've been here before. Not that this giant ship doesn't function as, like, a landmark. This looks important. Another piece of the scanner room. Oh! Leave me alone! Biter. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. 
Oh, a piece of the sea moth. We need one more piece of the sea moth and we'll be good. I really, well, th there's gotta be another piece of the sea moth. Battery charger. 30 seconds. Oh, if I if I brought the diving the of the pump would make this a lot easier. That might actually be maybe we should go back and build the pump because then I wouldn't have to surface as frequently. Yeah, we're out of our element a little bit here. There, there's so much here though that I definitely want to come back here. Yeah, I, I, I think we've seen enough. Let's head on. Let's head back. Well, he said, I don't think we I don't think we're finding anyone here. That said, I I feel like Yeah, judging by the look of that pot, something ripped that pot up pretty bad. Oh, that's a stalker. No, you don't. Look at how the color palette is constantly changing. It's like, it was red, and now it's green. It's like, oh, it's so colorful. I, I, I just love swimming around in this game. Now we're returning to the more bluish colors. It's such a, such a wonderful game to look at. It's like, it's like familiar looking and yet alien at the same time. Too slow this time. Boy! And here we are. Back home. Well, they can't say I'm not doing my job. I responded to two locations, but none of them know how to exit their life pod correctly. Oh. Hello? This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long-range scans pick up in the meantime. Well... I don't think we can send messages out. This radio's not strong enough. But well, it looks like someone's coming to get us. Some good news, at least. Okay, we, we need to... Do I have any salt? Okay, I need another piece of salt. So we're going to use the preserve option here. So we go here to cured food, and we're going to cure the Reginald instead of cook it standardly, because now by salting it, it won't go bad. And like I said, they're worth a lot of food. Look, they're worth 44 each. I'm not even, even though we need food right now, I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to go grab some other fish just to quickly restock our, uh, our hunger. I missed them. Come back. I can't see. I can't see, but then I can't swim fast. There we go. I bet I've checked this one already. Yep. Grab one more. And so now what we can do is we can eat those Reginalds if we're too far away from home. That's basically the plan. And now we'll cook these guys. Like, they're like a to-go meal, basically. Those Gary fish aren't too nutritious. The cook peeper is 32, the Gary fish only 13, so that's not amazing, but what can you do? Is there anything we can build? We got the sea glide. Ah, oh, we still need more. Yeah, we're going to have to go back there. What we're going to do is... We're going to build the floating air pump and some pipes. 
And that'll allow us to explore that area way more effectively in the next episode. Do I have any water here? Yeah, let me grab some of this water. There. So that's what we're going to do next episode. I'm going to straighten up my inventory, but that's probably good enough for now. Oh, look at the view. Go for this weird flying creature. Go away. We got the ruins of the Aurora. Rip. And the strange alien moon crossing the sky. Beautiful game. I think you'll certainly agree. Well, that's the end of this episode. Let me know what you think. Oh, man, unfortunately, we didn't get attacked by, like, the, the, the mine taker. I don't know those guys. What, what are they called? Let, let me go in here. Uh, indigenous life forms, fauna, carnivores. Here it is. The mesmer. I, I was close. The mind taker, the mesmer. Basically the same thing. <laughs> At any rate, like this video if it was interesting. Subscribe for future Subnautica content. Still not used to saying that. And of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.